What's up and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a fidget toy collection. Before we get started, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on all those post notifications so you get notified every single time I post a new video. Before we get started, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe with your middle finger. Can you do it? Five, four, five, four, three, two, one. Did you do it? If you gave yourself a pat on the back, now let's actually get started. So disclaimer, this video was not planned at all. And another disclaimer, I'm not trying to brag. In any way, shape, or form, um, I'm actually getting more fidget toys in the mail on the 28th of February. I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure when it's going to come, but I ordered some more fidget toys. So this is not all of it, so there's definitely going to be a part two of this video. But I do have a lot in this box that I'm going to be showing you. Um, and I have some balloons that I filled up with a couple things. Um, I have a lot of them, actually. Um, so, yeah, and I built this, like, whole, like, um big thing this big collection of fidget toys hold on my aunt's calling me okay so my aunt just got done calling me she's gonna call me back so <clears throat> um what'd you call it so basically I'm saying i grew this whole collection in the past three days i've been growing it because i only had one thing and i already traded it because we do figures trade with my cousin and my best friend kelsey um she has the same name and middle name as me um and we do fidget trading and i trade her my only fidget um, and she traded me a bunch of stuff just for that fidget, even though it wasn't a good fidget, just so I could have stuff. So that's very kind of Hayden and Kelsey, because they both traded me stuff. And, um, I also just ordered some stuff, like I already said, so let's just get on to what is in this box of fidgets. Okay, so obviously the first things are, like, these balloons. I only have, I think this, no, I have four left, yeah. I'm pretty sure this is four. Yeah, because then I have one over there. One, two, three, four. Yeah. I don't pay attention to school, so I don't know my math. But, yeah, these are four left. Um, and then I have a bunch of balloons in here. So, I'm going to show you, like, my whole balloon collection thing. So, this is one of them. And it has foam in it. It's not the best. I should have filled it up a little bit more because, as you can see, like, it has a bubble right here. Um, but, I mean, it's okay. It's not the best. I had better ones. <clears throat> Next one is this. I think this is the bigger one. Yeah. <clears throat> this is the biggest one here. It's just so water. And it's really fun. And it feels really good. And plus I have a headache right now. So it could feel, it could just feel amazing on my head. It's like so cold. And it feels so good. I can't get over how good it feels. It's just amazing. So. Next thing. Next thing. Is this soap or water? Okay, this is soap. You do some clear soap. Kind of feels like the water. Depends what kind of soap you get. But it's just so good. Next is another soap. Um, another clear soap. I have a couple soaps because, like, people trade and, like, saying if they want one of my soaps, I give them one of my soaps. And then I want another one. I'm going to actually write on them on them write what they are so I don't forget. So I'm gonna write water. Oh, I can't even write with this. I'll just write with the darker later. But yeah, and then I have another one, and this one is water and green foam beads. No, green beads. So it's, it's color changing too, so it's um, yellow and then it turns green. And, it feels really, and it's really fun. Then I have this other, it's a sipper water. Pretty sure this is another water. Pretty sure. My aunt's calling me again. Okay, so I just got to phone my aunt. Um, and hopefully I can put these clips together, which I know I can. I just gotta make sure they're in order right. Sometimes I get mixed up with that. But anyways, um, I had to fix the camera angle, and that is just closing my bed that I had to fold and put it in my closet. But anyways, um, I already went through all of these already, and I still have more. Um, next one I actually made today, and this has shaving cream in it. I didn't know I had a shaving cream until I figured it out, um, because I opened my eyes and looked. But yeah, I made two of these, so the other one is right here, because in case people want to trade me, I can still have one. And these are just like a Neato, so like, if you want to make like a homemade Neato, get a balloon and fill it up with shaving cream. And this is like as big as you can make it, you can't make it really any bigger. 
Um, and I wanted to have gotten the smiley faces ones, but those are the only ones they had. Like, they had colorful ones, but they weren't colorful. Like, they were, like, dark colors, scary, like, not my vibe. So, I'd rather have, like, fluffy ones. So, yeah, these are fluffy ones. I mean, I'd rather have, like, the smiley faces ones, because it's better than just dark, ugly, like, colors I don't like. But, it's, like, a dark yellow to a light yellow. It's really cool. But it feels so good. It feels just like a Nino. So if you really, really want to buy a Nino, you just can't get a balloon. Take shaving cream, put it in the balloon. And my tip for you is to take this because it's hard to just like squirt it in there because that's what I tried to do and it didn't work. So basically, pretend like this is the balloon. Um, I mean, the shaving cream and this is the balloon, and you just put it over the part where it sways out. And you push it, and it it gets bigger. And then be very careful because it starts like rising and it gets all the way up to the top, and makes a big mess. You gotta clean that up. But yeah, that's what you should do. I just love this. It feels so good. So that's perfectly, perfectly good homemade Nito, and I love it so much. Um, is this another shaving cream? How many? Sh I think I made three shaving creams. Yeah, this is shaving cream. Okay. Okay, so I made three shaving creams. I'm probably gonna make more too, because I have four more balloons. Plus, there's more downstairs. So I'm definitely gonna make. A lot of like water ones just so I can like treat them and stuff like that, but yeah, these are really fun. So I did not know, I've, I've totally forgot that I did three. And then these two are not mine, these two I actually made for my cousin Bailey. Um, I'll put her TikTok right here. Um, what you call it, or in the description box down below. If I don't pop it up here, I'm probably gonna be too lazy to put it there, but if it's not, it'll be in the description box. Um, and so is my TikTok. I'll try to pop my TikTok and her TikTok, so mine, hers, um, because I changed my name. My name for my TikTok is not Kelsey with two E's at the end. Anyways, this is her water one. No, this one's her soap, just like regular soap in it. I couldn't use a lot of soap because I was literally like running low because I made a couple soap ones. So this one is her soap, and then this one is her... Um, Soap, no, yeah, soap, water, and beads. So I have some beads in there. It has yellow and pink beads because I ran out of pink beads. Half of them went down the drain by accident and clogged it. Um, so now I had to use pink and yellow. So this one has way more beads than my green one does. So let me grab my green one. Um, okay, so my green one has just all green and blue beads. Actually, yeah, the both has like the same amount. Never mind. This one has green and blue beads. This one has pink and yellow beads. So you can't really see the yellow because it blends in. But you can see the pink. So yeah. These ones are Bailey. So I gotta put her names on this. So I'll put them right here so I don't forget. Next, I'm gonna go on to the Gwobbles. So I have these two Gwobbles. They go in the dark. Not this one. This one looks like it would go out, but it don't. But this one does. It's not dark yet, as you can tell. It's only like 5... No, 4.44. So... This one glows in the dark, and it's not, you can't really tell on camera. It's not, like, the biggest glow ever, but it does glow. So, I also probably do a video washing them, but no one probably really want to see that. But, this one is not even a video that I planned, because usually I plan all my videos, but it wasn't planned. I was just bored, I had no one else to talk to. Um, but, my camera, and my YouTube subscribers. Next, I found these at the dollar store. You would never think you would find these at the dollar store, in your lifetime, at least I would expect, because I was not expecting this, um, I went to a different dollar store, like the bigger dollar store, oh, you probably just saw it, but, to a bigger dollar store, and I found these, they had different colors, but I wanted the clear ones, and I got two, specifically, because people were probably going to want to trade me, and I still want to have one, so, yeah, and I'm also getting sent in the mail some Orbeez to put in these balloons. So I'm also saving these balloons to put some Orbeez in them. Because um, I'm definitely not going to be cutting these open, obviously. They had blue, they had green, they had red, they had pink. Um, but I want it clear because, like, no one has clear. Like, these are rares. Like, that you can never find, like, clear Orbeez balls. And if you can, they're either really expensive or you just don't have the money for them. So these are just, like, perfectly good clear Orbeez balls. And I love them so much. These actually stick way better than the um, Gwobbles. So, yeah. Those are all my stress balls. I know that's a lot of stress balls, not gonna lie. Um, next, I'm gonna move on to the slime. So, I have this slime. I put some foam beads in it. Um, 
this time I put some shaving cream in it and lotion and water because it was like really hard. The foam beads do get a little bit everywhere. It's not like the best, but I'm definitely going to make it way better. But this is what it looks like. It's nice to just like squeezing your hand and like kind of like a stress ball. Um, but yeah, I have about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 stress balls. Plus four um, more balloons. I'm going to put stuff in it. And plus I have way more balloons out there. So I'm definitely going to have a lot of stress balls. And I like having them because I have anger issues. At least everyone thinks I do. Because like I get mad at them and stuff. But that's just me. And I have stress, anxiety, ADHD, ADD, and OCD. And, um, and anger issues apparently. So I basically have everything that you could possibly have. At least I'm pretty sure. Next, I have this flume, which is actually the flume beads in this. I got this at the dollar store, too. Not the container, but the actual flume. Um, and I wasn't surprised to see so much of this stuff. I added lotion to it. I added a little bit too much. So, like, now, like, the flume beads kind of get everywhere. But it is a pretty decent thing. Just the only thing I don't like is that the flume beads get everywhere. The only reason why I added some lotion is because it was hard as a rock. I literally could not move it. But, I mean, that's a dollar store for you. So, I added some lotion, and I, it was working. So, I added just a little bit more, and I actually added too much. And then, yeah, this happened. So, yeah. That is my flum. I'm trying to get this, like, out of my fingernail. And these are my real nails, too. I let my nails grow. I used to not, but I guess let my nails grow. Oh, uh, where's the lid? Okay. Put this glue back on. Is it on? This is the hardest lid to get on. This one's like so easy. Next is the last thing, and it's not really slime either. It looks like it'll be connect sand or like something else. Oh my god, my throat's starting to hurt. Um, but I don't. So it like doesn't stick to itself. Like yes, it sticks to itself. It's sticking right now. But when you pick it up, it just starts falling. It doesn't stick. Like if I squeeze it, it will stay for a second and it'll just fall. But, it feels like what you would think clouds would feel like. Not like marshmallows, like, stuff like that. Like, it just, I don't know how to explain it. But this is from the dollar store. The Dollar Tree. Like, you wouldn't expect it to be there. And it's really fun. It makes, like, little indents. I'm trying to show. It's, like, really fun. Um, so, ooh, I just let it all fall. On my white fluffy carpet. That may or may not be fake or real animal fur. Which if it is real, I'm literally going to die. And I will definitely return this carpet. Um, okay, so that is all the slimes. Next, I have monkey noodles. I had green, um, purple. So I had green and purple. So the first ones I ever had was yellow, orange, and purple. And then I got green. And then I got pink. So I would have had like five or six of them. I think five. No, six. Because that was not a fart. It was just my ball. It makes fart noises like this. Um, but because one monkey noodle was going to be coming in the mail. But I don't think it's coming in the mail anymore. Wait, I think I did. I don't remember. I don't know. So I would have had like five or six. But I um, traded them. And I got the pink, so I only have three. But I'm sure more monkey noodles are coming in because, like I said, I just ordered a pop, a couple poppets. Uh, I'm pretty sure a couple or just one, I don't remember. And they're a rainbow. And then um, a fidget packet, which was had like ten things in it, but all together was hundred. You got to pick ten things out of it. Um, anything. Anyway, these are homemade. Um. These are my homemade tangles. Yes, you would think, like, what the heck is wrong with it? They're they're stuck together. Try to find one that's not stuck together. This one ain't. Okay, so it's not the best, but it's pretty fun. You can, like, twist them. Like, you can make them tight, like, tie it up together, and you can untie it. It's pretty fun. I mean, it's not, like, what you would think. It would be, like, perfectly awesome. But it's definitely decent. It's decent for me to just, like, play with at school, like, I don't go to school, I'm homeschooled, but, like, just to, like, fidget around, especially when I do online school and, like, homeschool, I can make as much loud noise as I want, so I don't really have to worry about bringing things that can make noise and disturb other people, because it's not really disturbing anyone but me, 
because I'm at home doing homeschool. And I'm not just homeschooled because of corona. I'm homeschooled in general. So, I mean, I did go to school. Um, and then I just stopped going to school because of bullies and everything. And I'm sick of that. So, I'm just going to stay homeschooled. But anyways, next I have magnets. You would think to be like, why are they like fidgets? They're fidgets. So, I have two um, of these. I had four of these, but I traded them. So, I have yellow and green of the triangle. And then I have three squares. Um, orange, green, and yellow. And they're pretty fun just to, like, do this. And, like, my goal is to never, like, try to get them to stay. Like, I try to, like, feel it, like, get pushed together. And I try to, like, stop it. I don't know. It was pretty fun. But, yeah. I have these magnets. Ooh. And I'll definitely get more magnets. But that's what I have so far. Next, I have these two mochis. I had five mochis, but I traded them. Um, and the one I'm never going to probably trade unless it's, like, a good, good, good trade is this little kitty cat. It's, like, so adorable. I can't get over how cute it is. And I'm currently breaking what I'm, like, on right now. Um, unless this needs to get screwed back into my thing. But anyways, I'm not going to, like, touch that right now. But this is a grape, which I don't understand if it's just a grape or something because this is what I think it is. Who doesn't have, like, anything? It's just, like, a grape, I think. And then this cat is just so cute. I like rubbing it, like putting it on my hand. And then I love like doing this. It's amazing. Um, so yeah, that's my mochis. Then I have this homemade wait, did it leak? Oh no, I think it just leaked a little bit. Yeah. Definitely the water is like coming out of it. Um, because it was definitely filled higher. But anyways. It has like little sequins in it and you flip it and it goes basically. It's not the best, but, like, it's just fun to, like, shake around. I don't know. I don't know either, but... I don't know what I just said, but anyways. Then I have a, Rub a mini Rubik's Cube. Um, I always try, but I just can't, but... <coughs> then I have more... <coughs> beads to go in to the balloons, which I don't know if I'm gonna... I'm probably gonna make one more, because I only have one. So I'm probably gonna make one more of these, because I only have one color left in this purple. Um, next I have a bike chain. I'm getting more fidgets tomorrow. I mean, tomorrow. It's going to come soon. It's only the 26th, so it'll come in two days. Next, I had three of these. I had this, no, I had green, red, um, and that was it. I had green and red, and then I had pink, so then I had all three. And then I traded the green one to my friend Kelsey and the, and the um, yellow one to my cousin Hayden. So, yeah. Now I'm only left with one, but hopefully my fidget, pa fidget package comes with more. I'm pretty sure it does. It comes with rainbow ones. Anyways, next I have this, um, what do you call it? Choker that I made. Well, no, my cousin made, and then I just use it to just play with because it's actually pretty fun to wrap your fingers around it, just move around with it. It's really fun. Next, I have this wacky track. Um, you can take it on part and take it. Okay, and you can just like play with it. It's really fun. Next, I have, which you would think this is dumb, but like to me, it's actually pretty fun. It keeps me occupied. It's Legos. It's a bunch of Legos. You can basically take them off like normal. My hands are slippery because I just kind of like playing with like lotion and stuff like that. You take them off, you can like move them around. And just, it's just fun to me. Like, it's, I don't know. But next, I have this heart that basically the things move. So if I push this, it pushes out on the other side. You can take it out. You can take out a bunch of the things. You just got to take, like, it's hard because you kids can't take out whatever you want. You have to figure out which one comes out next. And it's just really hard. Wait, I'm going to take out this one. Oh, no. Like, that comes off. Then you got to figure out which comes next. It's basically like a whole puzzle. So, yeah. Next, I have this, like, the weirdest thing. I had a couple of these, which were my brothers, but I didn't like them. So, I'd rather just have, like, like these kinds. Um, it's, like, a little troll, and I like the trolls because I was actually a troll in my play. Actually, no, I was abandoned. A, no, not abandoned. A bourbon? I don't remember what it was. It was last year, and I didn't even get to do the play because of coronavirus. But we worked so hard, and it reminds me of the trolls play, and I really like it. It has, like, this little water come out of it. Um, I'm going to go quick because I don't know how much longer I have. Next, I have this homemade... Um, what is it called? Marble mesh, which actually this is what the mar this is the marble mesh. I forgot to say it. And this is from my friend Kelsey. Um, then I have a homemade um slider, which basically you just get um a 
baggie, cut it, cut the sides so they're not stick together, and then get them on there and do that, and then move them up and down. Next, I have a home, not homemade, I found a old remote from like something, like a video game or something like that, and that doesn't work anymore, and you can just use it to like press all the buttons on it, so that's another DIY fidget if you like need something to play with. Um, yeah, if you need something to play with. Um, I did have a bigger one, but I gave it to my little cousin, well, my god sister, Crystal, because she loves remotes, and she's only one years old, and she doesn't have one that she could actually play with, so I gave her an old one that doesn't work, so she has it. Um, so I just had this mini one, perfect, just for traveling, just to, like, push the buttons and stuff like that. Next, I have this homemade Roblox fidget. It's not the best. I, as you can tell, it's not the best drawing, but it is so squishy. Listen to this. I don't know if you can really hear it, but it makes good sounds. Um, next I have a pea popper. Oh no, don't fall, don't fall. Next I have a pea popper. I'll show you the little cute little face. If it wouldn't like to show, you can't really tell, but there's a little face on it. Um, the last but certainly not least is a bag of soap. You would be like, what the heck? You're so weird. No, it's really fun. You can just like squish it around. And then once it's like that, all you can do is just like this. It's the most satisfying thing that you would ever think of. So yeah, it's like the best. I love this so much. And that's all my fidgets. I'll show you what are here. And actually some of them fell on the floor. Um, two of them did. Let me grab them. Um, okay, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please give this video a big thumbs up. If you like it, turn on the notifications so you can find every single time I post a new video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!